Uh, okay, hey. So, uh, hi, uh, well, what is your name? My name is Dan Gray. And uh, you're speaking today, and uh, what brings you out? Well, I drove a couple oh. hours to get here. If you wouldn't mind, uh, I'm not about to this here. I drove the two hours to get here because it's important that people exercise their rights so we don't lose our rights. And Derek, it's very interesting to meet you with Peace News Now. Um, I started writing for Watchdog Wire because, uh, about six or eight months ago because I felt that the news media was not stepping up and doing their job. And I appreciate the fact that citizen journalists are and that you're willing to come out here on a cold, blustery day and report other citizens for something that may or may not have any news impact in the mainstream media. Um, in fact, I urge you, if you do any writing or have any good videos, uh, Watchdog Wire might be very interested in your submissions, as long as they're verifiable fact, it's something that we want people to know. And now, after just a few months, I have a column in the Washington Times, because people are hungry for the news. And with the look you have, you should be in front of the camera. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, well, what are you going to be speaking about today? Alternative media? No, this is uh, uh, not about the First Amendment. This is about the amendment that guarantees all of the other amendments of the Bill of Rights. This is the Second Amendment. As long as America remains armed, peacefully armed, the government has no choice but to accede to our demands and our wishes for a constitutional government. If we're disarmed, anything can happen. The path that we're taking has been taken before by other governments in the 20th century. Here it is the 21st century and we don't seem to have learned anything. I'll be giving an invocation. They have me, and it will be on tape, uh, Elvis, singing the Star Spangled Banner. And I'll be talking about personal experience with one of my relatives, who was one of only two, two of my family in Europe, 400 people that survived the Holocaust. They never imagined that those things would ever happen in a civilized country. They never imagined that the government would ever become so powerful and tyrannical that it would actually round up and murder its citizens. It may never happen here, but we are taking those same steps. To prevent it from ever happening here, we have to maintain our Second Amendment rights. Otherwise, the government has all the power. They have shown the willingness to use it. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome.